All right, thanks, Ballant. 946 now on your Friday. Time for part two of In the Know. Of course, we've been talking about this for the past week. Gyms are filling back up as people work to start off the new year right. But to achieve your fitness goals, how can you keep up without falling off your desired path? Well, we've got fitness premieres. Alexis Kanek back in studio to guide us as we begin our own fitness goals. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. And I am just going to say real quick, thank you for making the drive. I know it was a long haul, so we appreciate you being here. Yeah, excited Biggest, to be here. Good, 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 good. All right, first question I want to make sure we get right off the bat. Obviously, uh, New Year's resolutions can be something that a lot of people can abandon, mm -hmm. right? You know, they're yep. starting off hot, they're ready to go, but they sort of fall off the path as the year goes on. In the work that you've done with your clients and people that come through your facilities, what are some of the best ways people can make sure they stay committed to their goals? The number one thing that I think sticks out is making sure that you have a plan of some sort. Um, when you're trying to come to the gym and you're just like shooting it you know, randomly, you're less likely to be successful. So having mm -hmm. some sort of idea when you do go to the gym of a plan that you have in mind, um, you're going to be more likely to be successful with that. Gotcha. What might be a good like, base plan for somebody who is just starting out? Um, it depends on what your goals are. Um, I think typically with most gym locations, they offer a one-on-one -on -one session to get started. Okay. Um, so with our Fitness Premier Clubs, we do a coaching session to help members get started. So that's kind of where we sit down and we talk about what your game plan would look like to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, so if you ever start a new gym and you're nervous about that, I would look into getting one of those set up at gotcha. your gym location. Let's talk a little bit about that for a second. Yeah. And you and I were mentioning in the break sort of the intimidation factor maybe that can come with walking into the gym for some people for the first time, yep. for others the first time in a long time. What is the process that people can kind of go through, the steps they can take to make sure they get comfortable with it more quickly? Yeah, again, the more comfortable you are, the more confident you're going to feel. So that's why we always recommend doing that one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Um, so that's where we can like lead you through the machines and some different free weight exercises. Um, and it's always good to start with a coach when you first begin too. Yeah. Um, just someone that can kind of take the guesswork away from you is going to help you be a lot more confident moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this has got to be a pretty exciting time for yeah. you guys, and I know gyms all across the country. What's your favorite part about seeing people come in and helping guide them on what will hopefully be a pretty life-changing goal? Yeah, I mean, exactly what you just said. It's, it's awesome to be part of people's journey, um, whether it's the beginning or midway through, or maybe the seasoned people who work out. Um, you're just going to meet a lot of different people and figure out what their goals are and help be a part of their, their life-changing experience. Absolutely. If you had to tell the folks at home, maybe one easy way to get started, maybe it's not a resolution that they initially planned on, but maybe it's something they kind of had in the back of their minds, what would be a good square one to maybe begin that process? First step's always the hardest. You just got to make yourself walk into the gym. Um, yeah. It's a friendly en en environment. It's, it does seem overwhelming and judgmental, but everybody's there working on their own thing. And if you really think about it, when you do go to the gym, how often are you watching somebody else? For sure. Um, so just be... Mindful that you know, you're on your journey, somebody else is on their journey too, and the first step is the hardest, but once you get in the door, smooth sailing from there. I love that. And just, you know what, don't feel like you got to worry about other people exactly. at the same time. Just focus on yourself. Yep. That's awesome. All right, we're going to have this interview, plus we got all the tips that you need online at 25newsnow.com. Of course, you can also check out Fitness Premier up in Pontiac. We got those hours up on your screen right now. We'll also have those details online at 25newsnow.com too. You can also check out their website at fitnesspremierclubs.com. Alexis, thank you again for being here. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right, we'll be right back with some entertainment news in just a few moments.